Hi, in this brief video I'm going to go through whip stitch applique and this basically is what which whip stitch applique looks like. Now on the actual fur here you can see it's quite a large stitch and that's used as a decorative it's a decorative embellishment as well as it actually attaching the felt to the actual softy bare body and as you can see in the eyes I've used a matching black thread black eye and I've worked the stitch around the eye and that is so as that you don't see the stitch so this stitch can be used in both ways okay now this is a whip stitch when it's done quite small whip stitch applique now so this is where you actually attach it one piece of fabric onto another piece of fabric Okay, you can see these stitches are quite small so they actually disappear into the side I've used dart thread so as that it's obvious for you to see what's going on here but if I didn't want this to be seen I would use orange thread um, to match the felt now to work this stitch I'm going to be attaching this yellow onto the blue now ordinarily I would use yellow thread if I wanted it to be invisible if I didn't and I wanted to highlight the whip stitch applique um, I would use say black thread which I have here now that's two strands of embroidery floss embroidery thread and I've put a knot at the end of it and to work this stitch what you do is you come in from the behind from the back of the fabric and you want to go through the two layers so you want to go through the fabric and the felt so working through and you pull it and you make sure that the needle the knot is embedded at the back and then working very close together you pick up a small piece of the blue material and work the needle at an angle back into the yellow felt and you're basically working a stitch around that attaches the felt to the fabric okay so straight over pick up a piece of the blue needle at an angle you can see here it's at the back it's at an angle and it picks up a little bit of the yellow okay again straight across pick up a little bit of a blue angle come out pick up a little bit of the yellow and you can see it's actually attaching itself now if you wanted the stitch to be more invisible you'd actually have it closer together here and you'd also be using the same color thread right again working around a corner there we go sometimes as in the bear I just showed you I like the stitch to look a bit messy um, it adds a little bit of character so I might do longer or shorter stitches and if I want it to be invisible I would use the same color thread and much smaller stitches Right, so you can see how that is attaching that to that and this is what the back looks like. Right. 